This is Brother Brent back to you today with another video. I want to talk to you today about the nature of God. Many people in today's time love God and are sincere about God, but even amongst people that are sincere and love God, many people do not know about the nature of the God that they serve. We're living in a day and hour where the many people believe that God is some uh, gray-haired man with a great big old beard that looks like Santa Claus, and he sits up on a throne. We have it pictured in our mind because we have seen different paintings and different images, uh, graven images and different things of images that are supposed to be God, uh, we have it burnt into our mind that God is a great big old man with a big uh, gray beard and then little Jesus on his right side and Holy Ghost on his left side. We have it burnt into our mind that God is a man. When the scriptures plainly say that God is not a man, God is not a man. That is not the nature of God. God's nature is not flesh, blood, and bones. God's nature is not mankind. God's nature is not human. God's nature is spirit. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 4 and verse 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. A spirit is invisible. That's why the Bible says that no man hath seen God, the invisible spirit, at any time. No man hath seen God at any time. Why? Because God is an invisible force, an invisible spirit. God is omnipresent. He is not mankind. He is not like me or you. He is not confined to a room or to a building or only to heaven or only on earth. God is not confined to anything. Hallelujah. But God is, is higher than heaven, deeper than hell, longer than the earth. Amen. And broader than the sea. Anywhere you go, God is there. God is omnipresent. God is a spirit. A spirit is invisible. We need to get it out of our mind that God is a man, that God is a human being. God is not a man. God is not a human being. He is not flesh and blood as me and you are. No, the true divine nature of God is spirit. And that's what we need to think of him as. The invisible spirit. Hallelujah. The invisible spirit the invisible God, hallelujah. And the only way that man has uh, seen God in his fullness is through Jesus Christ. God was manifested, God, the eternal, omnipresent, invisible spirit was manifested in a flesh and blood body so he could shed his blood for us that we may receive remission of sin. Amen. God revealed himself to mankind in the body of Jesus Christ. That's why they asked Jesus, show us the Father. Amen. Show us God. Show us the Father. And he said, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. That's why the Bible says he is the image of the invisible God. Let this help you today. Until next time.